guys welcome back to another video so today and I guess not just today but I'm gonna be showing you an instant pot recipe today as well as two other recipes on different days when we when we make them so I'm gonna be showing those to you guys and honestly since having my twin girls and being a mama of three I went from a mom of one to a mom of three within an instant. So lately I've been making a lot of easy meals, meals that I can freeze. So then I can just whip them out of the freezer and we can eat them. The girls are eating every three or so hours and depending on how their feeds fall and when Mike gets home from work, Dinner just isn't what it used to be. So it's so much easier if we have meals prepared in the freezer or in the refrigerator that, you know, if it's already 6.30 and we need to eat, I can just, you know, whip them out and we can have a somewhat of a decent meal. So, so what I'm gonna be making today is some Instant Pot burrito bowls. I love these. I've made them before. They're so good, so easy, and also nutritious since I am giving the babies some of my milk. I wanna make for sure that I'm getting healthy meals even though I don't have a lot of time to eat. So this is one of my go-to healthy meals. It fills me up because I'm definitely more hungry these days, so it's one of my favorites. So today I'll be showing you the burrito bowls, and then I have a couple other recipes, so you wanna stick around for all three recipes because they're super easy. You can put them in the freezer and whip them out if you have a busy night, so. So these are the super easy ingredients. I already have an onion chopped up, and then it's salsa, chicken broth, corn, black beans. I just need a cup of rice, so I usually get these because it's just easier. Um, I don't have to make the rice, and then I just use one of the individual containers, so it's already portioned out for me. Taco seasoning, seasoning, and then ground beef, or you can use ground turkey, but I am using ground beef because that's what we had on hand. So super ingredients, easy. So I started out by pushing the saute button on my Instant Pot and adding some olive oil and then I added my ground beef to cook up in the pot and I think that's one of the best things about the Instant Pot is you can do it all in one pot so there's not a lot of mess which I absolutely love. So I just ended up browning my ground beef and then I added my diced onions and I cooked that up for a minute or two and then I added my taco seasoning the chicken broth, black beans, and corn, which were both drained, so make sure you do that. And then I added my rice, and make sure you just add the rice on top and you do not stir it in. This is important. Then I put the Instant Pot lid on and made sure the vent was on top and the cover was set. I pressed the manual button on high pressure for 15 minutes, then I waited for it to come to pressure and then cooked it for 15 minutes. I let it sit for a little bit and this is how it it definitely thickens up a little bit when you let it cool down I'm sitting here eating my yummy meal with baby in arm <laughs> doing what us moms do multitasking right <laughs> Can you say hi Addison such a sweet baby but yes this is one of my absolute favorite instant pot recipes and it freezes very well, which is I think a win-win all around when it freezes and it's good fresh. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and finish eating, but I will see you guys for the next recipe. Are you guys ready for another recipe? So today I'm gonna be showing you one of our family favorites. It's 
Instant Pot Chicken Tacos. And we have made chicken tacos on the stove. We've made it in the crock pot and I've showed that before on my channel. But I really think that making it in the Instant Pot is a game changer. Mike specifically really likes it. He likes it in the Instant Pot. He says it has a different texture and flavor. So we've really been enjoying make it in, making this in the Instant Pot and it's a lot quicker than the crock pot or on the stove. And it's something that we make a lot. We'll make it in bulk and then freeze it. So that's specifically what I'm gonna be doing tonight. So it's 8.30, we have already eaten dinner but just with our crazy lifestyle right now with the babies, um, I wanted to make some ahead of time. We could freeze it. That way we can pull it out whenever we wanna eat it. And a lot of times I will use it for salads. It's just a good protein, a tasty protein, because it's seasoned for salads. And Avery also likes it as a protein part of her meal. So again, if I don't know what I wanna feed her for like lunch or dinner, I can pull that out and she likes it as well. So it's super easy and pretty much everyone in our family likes it, so it's a win. Here are the easy four ingredients. It's just chicken broth. I got the low sodium kind chicken. It's not frozen, but you can do frozen if you want. Taco seasoning and salsa. One of the best things about this recipe is you really can't screw it up, which is kind of funny to me because I am making a video for you guys where I'm cooking and showing you a recipe, which I'm not good at cooking and I don't enjoy it. So I'm all about recipes that are super easy and recipes that I can't screw up. So that's why I love this one. So I just combined all four ingredients, the chicken, chicken broth, salsa, and seasoning in the Instant Pot, and then I set it for 12 minutes. Here's what the chicken looks like after I cut it all up. And now, just to flavor it a little bit more, since it's cut up, I'm gonna put it back in here so it adds some flavor, just for a few minutes before I freeze it. And here is the chicken all ready for the freezer. Again, I'll just throw it in the freezer, take it out when we need something quick and easy. And I left some of the liquid in there just to keep some of the flavor. Um, but I've even pulled this out, defrosted it, and then, you know, taken whatever chicken we needed out and then refroze, take out, etc. So still continues to be good. But again, perfect meal to freeze. Hey guys, it is a new day, so I'm gonna be sharing a new recipe with you. So the other recipes that I'm gonna be showing you I've made before. They're family favorites, we all love them. This one, Instant Pot Lasagna, is one that I've never tried before. So we will see how this goes. I'm a little bit nervous because we all love lasagna and the way we make it in the oven works great, but I thought I love the Instant Pot, so why not try it? So I'm a little bit nervous to see how this goes, but if it works, it will be a lot easier than make it, making it in the oven, I think. So let's hope it works. And yeah, let's get to it. This recipe has all of the yummy ingredients that lasagna has. So we were really excited to try it out. And I started out by combining an Italian style cheese mix with ricotta cheese, which is our preference because you can also use cottage cheese if you would prefer, but we just preferred ricotta cheese. And then I poured in some crushed tomatoes and it's super important that you used crushed tomatoes specifically and not just use regular canned tomatoes. I 
wasn't able to use a spring form pan. I actually don't have one like the recipe called for. I was able to alter it by just putting everything in the actual pot of the Instant Pot and adding a half cup of water in the bottom. And then I just started layering all of the other ingredients. Again, this recipe will be in the description box below and make sure you follow all of the directions. And just so you guys know, the noodles are not cooked. They are uncooked as is the same for the ground beef, not cooked, which is really great that you can throw both the noodles and the ground beef in and they don't have to be cooked. All right, the last thing that I did was I topped it with cheese and I'm gonna start cooking now, I'll admit, I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> um, I just feel like, I don't know how this is gonna turn out, so I'm hoping, I'm praying, let's hope this turns out or we may be ordering something for dinner. All right, it's starting to cook. We have 35 <laughs> minutes until we will find out if we have an edible dinner or not. While I'm cooking dinner, we got big sister. Yeah. Big sister, Anne, Emery, next. Addison, so what they're doing, Emery. They're just laying down. So they're just sleeping, and and I love them very much. So they're just sleeping with, with their blankets and. All right. So yes, while I'm cooking, we got this going. We got the girls hanging out. They love these boppy loungers. So let's hope dinner is ready in a half an hour. It's not working, but it has nothing to do with anything that I did wrong. Something is not working quite right, quite right with the Instant Pot. Mike came home and tried to fix it. He couldn't. Yeah, so we're going to have to try to fix it after all the food is out. I'm going to still try to salvage this dinner. I'm going to try popping it into a casserole dish and baking it, and we will see. Um, hopefully this works out. But I don't even know if I'm going to show you guys this, but honestly, this is real life. Sometimes you try recipes and it doesn't work, so you try to you try to make it work, and that's what I'm gonna try to do. So we'll see how it turns out. So we've had it in the oven, pulled it out, and it looks promising but I'm gonna keep it sitting here, kind of let it harden up, and then we will see what the finished product looks like. So this is what it came out to. So not a perfect square lasagna, but still looks pretty good and it's cooked. So I will give you guys the verdict after we try it. So it ended up turning out, I would say, pretty well. It was a fail, and to be honest with you guys, I could have just, not shown it and did a different recipe but you know what i try to be as real as i can with you guys in these videos and this is real life i wanted to do three instant pot recipes two i had tried i knew i liked i knew worked this one i never tried before now it could have been i think something might be wrong with my instant pot that mike's gonna try looking at so it could have been that could have been the recipe i don't know so maybe you guys can try it i will have that the recipe in the the description box below if you guys actually want to try it i really would like for it to work sometime but we were able to make it work again real life um i hope you guys still enjoy this video and thank you i hope you guys get something out of it but it all worked out that's what us moms do right we make it work and it turned out really well i would agree it turned <laughs> out well um wasn't the lasagna i thought i was gonna have tonight but it tasted good um 
so Jamie did a good job. So that is it for the video. Give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. And again, I'm sorry that you didn't have three full recipes. Um, but yeah, don't forget to subscribe because I plan on doing more recipe videos, crock pot, instant pot, when we can get that baby fixed. Um, but yeah, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and you like these recipe videos. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. I'll see you later. Bye. Never up, never down, never like a thing.